Hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss about billing and account receivable module. We'll start with creating a standard bill and then we'll move that bill to account receivable pending item by running single action invoice. From there we will convert it into a receivable update item by running request receivable updates. Then we'll do an online regular deposit. Then we'll apply the deposit to the bill that we have generated previously using create worksheet. Then finally we will create journals using journal generator. Let's start with creating a bill. Main menu, billing, maintain bills, standard billing. Add a new value, put a bill type identifier. We are using asset sales, bill source, assets, customer, random customer, invoice date, today's date. Click and go to line info, table, select PS billing charge ID, identifier. We will select laptop computer. You can see unit price shown here, enter quantity, go to header info 1, you can see that bank account number and bank information is already present here, click save, status change to new, change the status to ready, save it. Now we have to take this bill forward for account receivable, for doing so go to generate invoices, non-consolidated, single action invoice. Enter a run control ID, copy the invoice ID and paste it here, save it and run the process, single action invoice. All these processes are moved to success. Let's check this AR pending item process. In the message log, if we will see, then it shows that AR entry is totaling 5600. That means our bill is now converted to AR pending item. Go to accounts receivable, pending items, review items, all items, search, search with date, so this is the pending item that is now entered. Here you can see that posting action is do not post. We need to change it to batch standards. For doing so, Go to external items, group entry, go to group actions, click on balance, click on batch standard and save. Our posting action change to batch standard. Now go to account receivable, receivable update, request receivables update, create a run control id, enter the date range, run the process. Okay, this complete the process. Let's check the status of the pending item, review item, all item. So you can see that posting action is changed to complete. That means the pending item is converted to item. Next step is to do online deposit. For doing so, go to accounts receivable, payments, online payment, regular deposit. Add a new value, add bank, customer receipts, amount 5600, count 1, payments, amount 5600, payment ID, customer ID, business unit, history. See, this is a balanced payment as well. Now apply payment. It will open a create worksheet with the customer ID name. Now create bill. It will show all the items that uh, need payment. Amount to be applied is 5600. Click here, select this one, remove the discount, saved. Go to worksheet action and post now. Okay. Save. This way we have applied the deposit payment to the bill that we have generated previously. Next step is to post these as journals in general ledger. For doing so, go to main menu, general ledger, journals, subsystem journals, generate journals. Select PI defin and another entry from account receivable. 
view all so we'll specify date here as well save and run ideally this should generate two journals the process is now success now check the entries go to create update journal entries search for the business unit and search from the date journal date now we can see that 277 and 278 two journals created in the process 277 is generated by billing source and it is showing uh, lines as for the revenue and count receivable updated and the next one is created by account receivable so this completes the process if you like this video please subscribe the channel and stay connected